Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on an FOMC Wednesday, 20th of March. Pretty tight, silly ranges overnight. Aussie took a little bit of a dip down to 56. Now we're back at 77. I think this is on trade concerns. Um, did slip pretty handily through 85 there, as you can see. We've given up on the core short Aussie, um, and now we're just in a wait and see mode. We start getting bearish again, um, maybe through 40, but really we're just waiting for 70 to figure, um, where we're hoping uh, for a big risk off day and we'll just smash it. Everything seems to be caught in these uh, small ranges, so it doesn't really pay to get short near the lows. Um, hoping that it breaks out of the range or long near the highs hoping it breaks out because nothing's really breaking out of ranges here we see euro dollar couldn't quite get through 68 we get this overhead resistance now at 81 no really you know the support there is that's useless uh, some people will be drawing the upward sloper but effectively we're just stuck in a range as you can see cable the range is a little bit more hysterical, but it's basically 132, 133. Um, dollar Swiss, we've had quite a few down days in a row, Dollar Swiss. Somehow we kind of missed this, this opportunity, but in the bigger picture, it's just range, right? I mean, uh, nothing really much to say here. Euro Yen, uh, really annoying. We got core short yesterday, stopped out today. Um, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of nine green days in a row, which is kind of weird. Surprised to see Urien up here. We got paid in stocks yesterday. We sold high ones, as we said in the video. Of course, that PL was sort of nullified by the Euro Yen um, lunacy. Is this the turn bar in uh, stocks? We talked about this overhanging resistance. We all remember this from the big down move um, in October. 28.64 was the number. Oh, actually, no, really, if you think about it, it was 28.68. So we, th we selling through 70s, anywhere between 70 and 62 actually paid. Never saw it again. Um, and we saw 600, 600 points, 600 S&P handles on the downside. So there's going to be massive resistance up here. Didn't quite get up to 68. Uh, as a matter of fact, we didn't get paid at 59 and a half. The high was 58 and three quarters. We did sell 49s and then we did sell 51s. Took those back. Um, just just above 30 um, just to kind of help smooth out the P&L for the day we do have our structures short uh, and we really want to wait to plunge um, on the downside with some news or with some stories so if today he's hawkish um, we will uh, we will sell these stocks again and we'll have to see if this low triggers more selling. Obviously, they took a little peek at it this morning, 28, the low already today in, in, in the uh, twilight zone period. But if in, real, if in real liquidity this thing starts getting through um, yesterday's low, or we'll call it today's low, 28, 28, but more importantly, if it gets through 28, the figure. So this 28.09 is important, but... If we get back through 28 to figure, then I think we're going to attack this 200 day back at 57. And then through 57, it, I think it's really on. So this is something we'll be looking at today. There's not really much point in having a morning video this morning. Everyone's just waiting for the FOMC. Uh, let's take a quick sneak peek at the calendar here. We do have CPI in the UK, which no one cares about. Um, Normally we would care about it, but 
with Brexit, no one cares about the numbers out of um, out of the UK. And then we basically have nothing. We have oil inventories, um, and then we have uh, the FOMC statement, economic projections, and the press conference. After all of this is said and done, we do have Kiwi GDP. Uh, Kiwi's middle of nowhere. So there's really not much to say here. Our tactical book is square. Um, we're just kind of annoyed and frustrated with the week so far. No damage on the P&L, but no progress either. So it's just kind of annoying. Uh, got paid in some pairs, had to pay in others. Uh, so now we're just going to clear clear the mechanism and then go over some some scenarios this afternoon uh, in Europe. So we'll start taking a real serious look at these charts um, around 3 p.m. Swiss time. I'll pop onto Twitter and share some of my ideas along the way. Uh, otherwise, we're going to keep it super light this morning and just watch and wait for Powell to howl. Anyway, if you are trading, I wish you luck and profits. Otherwise, good luck tonight, and I will see you on Twitter and see you for another video tomorrow. Ciao.